N.S. Harsha, an acclaimed Indian artist from Mysuru, is rocking Tokyo. He is one of the first Indian artists to have a solo exhibition at the prestigious Mori Art Museum. For the past five months, tourists and locals have stood in long queues to see his mid-career retrospective titled Charming Journey to the Cosmic via Southern India. His work makes strong social economic statements, but with a great sense of humor. This whole journey which I've done as the title of the show, Charming Journey, it has become more like a question for me. Is it charming or is it like what's going on? So that's something which I'm going to treasure it for me. Very inward looking. You make an inward journey within yourself. Through you, that journey you share a lot of movements in which kind of it inspires society. You know, the white shirt is something which is very used by the corporate uh, sort of people. And at the same time, the, the work, working class or the kind of the salary suited salary men. Yes. So I was always interested in this idea of uh, the body grows into this shirt. For example, I'm giving the kids a uh, large size shirt, but then they have to imagine this future, which is which is like, what is that future? What what will they become in the future? Each shirt becomes more than a shirt, a poetry of time and space, and for the person to grow into. Be very metaphorical. I all, I mean, I keep saying this. Something like I always feel like a tap, and the water comes from somewhere, mm. and the thirst is somewhere else. When you're making a painting, painting is making you, and this dialogue happens, and then the painting somehow, the way it starts, I think it also finishes on its own self. But it is important as an artist to kind of reflect the time. Mm. and sort of bring out certain things. I mean, as you said, uh, there are pretty paintings, but when you go close, you know, it usually happens to so many people. When, when I unturn a canvas in, in front of my friends or someone who wants to see the painting, they all say, oh, wow, and then they go into it, and they really want to kind of they'd get disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> and truly, when you ask me when I'm making art, uh, the only audience is me. It has to start from me. And then it goes into the other people, like whoever is there. When I came to Japan, I was looking for this kind of idea of craft and how it is working with the retina, you know, sort of uh, engagement. So I was walking again in the street and I found this food, this plastic food, which are like absolutely, you know, quite attractive. And it's everywhere. That. It's everywhere. And it's I like it's, it yeah. looks real. Yeah, yeah, it's really, you know, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. I wish they, they did a masala dosa. Like <laughs> Yeah, so then I had this idea that let's do a piece which is all about this craft, but at the same time picks up the idea of culture and leftovers of the culture. You know, what we leave behind, plastic, which is a very challenged material in, in the world. You know, plastic is such a third rated or whatever it is, cheap and all those things. I really wanted to, you know, embrace it and look at it with compassion and see what poetry can be in, induced into this idea of plastic. So you enter, then you feel the food is still there, but then where are the people? You know, this kind of ambiguity of uh, this kind of absence. <laughs> 